Another nice formatting feature that Excel 2007 offers is fill color and fill patterns. When you add a fill color to a cell, you are filling the cell background. You can combine this new color with a fill pattern to give an even more interesting effect. Let me demonstrate this formatting feature. Again, the key to applying a fill color or a fill pattern is to always select the information that you want to apply the fill color or pattern to first. So here I'll go ahead and highlight my column headers. So I have product and amount highlighted. And then by coming up here to the home tab in the font group of my ribbon, you will find the fill color command. I'll go ahead and choose the down arrow to display the menu and then I can go ahead and choose a color. Notice that as I move my mouse in this color palette, my spreadsheet reflects the new color. Once you have the color that you want, simply select it and you will see that color applied as a fill color to the background of the cell. Now you can also apply some other features. I'll again come up here to my fill color button, select the down arrow, and notice that I can turn the fill entirely off by choosing no fill. And if I didn't find the color that I wanted within the color palette above, I can choose more colors. When I select more colors, notice that now I'm presented with millions of colors as well as RGB values that I could type in the RGB value for red, green, and blue to get an exact color that I'm looking for. And from here, you simply click to select your new color. And notice that over here, if I drag the hue up, I can lighten it. And if I drag it down, I can darken the color. Kind of changes the hue of the color. Once you have the color that you want, go ahead and say OK. Now, if I wanted to apply a pattern to this selection that I have, I can do that by going through the More Options button up here in the font group. I'll go ahead and select this button, I'll choose the Fill tab because I'm looking to fill the background with a pattern. And notice that over here they have pattern color. Now you also have fill effects and more colors. Let me show pattern first and then we'll look at fill effects. The pattern color will always take the color that you've already chosen if you've chosen one and then mix it with a second color and that's what this one is here. So I'll go ahead and click the down here on pattern color and choose a blue color and then I need to choose a pattern style. So again I'll click the down arrow and then I can choose from any one of these displayed styles. Let's say I want it to be more of a hatched or a thin crosshatch. I'll go ahead and choose this and notice it's mixing the color that you have already selected which is on my example this kind of pink color with the blue color and you have a pink and blue with a crosshair hatch for your pattern. When I say OK this will apply that pattern and those colors to my selection. Let me go back in to the More Options button and again back to Fill Color. And notice that I also have Fill Effects. If I choose Fill Effects, I then can go ahead and again mix two colors. Right now they're set by default to white and blue into a gradient. And notice that I can make it vertical, diagonal, up or down, from the corner, or from the center. And when you select one of these that has more options over here, you can actually choose from whatever options are displayed to be the actual fill that you want for your selection. And notice my sample now changes and when I say OK again, this will be applied across my selection. Now let's go ahead and add some fill patterns to our project. Again, we are going to go to the product list in the menu tab. If you would like to start with a fresh file at this point, go ahead and open up 0705 start file, which is a fresh version reflecting the progress of this course up to this point. And let's go ahead and add a fill color to our category headings. So again, the key to doing this is to always select it and then come up here to your fill color command, select the down arrow, and then choose a color that you think will look nice with your Raspberry Brigade menu. Go ahead and do the same thing down here with the gifts and souvenirs section. And to apply the same color typical of other commands that we've looked at, all you need to do since we've already chosen and filled the cells above, the fill color button now by default will fill that same color. 
Save your file and let's move on to the next movie.